of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Welcome to SCTV News for Wednesday, September 25th. I'm Alan Chavez. And I'm Ian Mosquera. Today is the deadline to purchase homecoming dance tickets if you'd still like to go to this Saturday dance. You have until the end of the day today to visit the finance office. Tickets are $45 with an ASB sticker and $55 without. Again, today is the last day, so get there before the end of the school. Today is also day three of our homecoming spirit week. And a big thank you to all the students who brought a stuffed animal today. We have two days left, so here's how you should dress each day. This Friday is our homecoming assembly. We will be on a double assembly schedule. Not only will we have some great entertainment for you, but you will also learn more about the members of our homecoming court. Also on Friday, the class of 2025 will be voting for two members of the court to be homecoming king and queen. Check your school email on Friday for a voting link. But you'll have to wait until the homecoming football game to find out the results. This Friday, our Cougars welcome Point Loma to Cougar Stadium. It should be an exciting game because Cougars are 3-1 and one having just retained the Hamacha helmet last week. And it will be a fun evening beyond football because there will be several clubs offering unique food and items for sale. And then at halftime, you get to see all the members of Homecoming Corps and find out this year's king and queen. And then the big day is this Saturday. The 2024 Homecoming Dance is on our campus starting at 6 p.m. Make sure you have your student ID with you to get in. Also, you can check in Canvas for a QR code to make sure you have reserved your ticket. There are many new faces on campus this school year, and some staff members are taking on new roles on campus. SCTV News is planning on introducing to you all new faculty and staff here at Steele. Uh, my name is Mr. Sudadoth. I teach English 9 and English 10, both CP and Honors. I mean, despite how I might look and the way that I'm dressed, I'm secretly a really big metalhead. I'm really into, you know, jamming with other people. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of the harder styles, so uh, any students or fellow teachers who are willing to talk about anything heavy in, in terms of music, please come on, reach out, I'm happy to talk shop. Definitely, yeah. So I started going to shows around 18 years old, and then when I went to college, definitely made it a point to go out to North Park and any place that would have shows. I'll be seeing Iron Maiden in October, so definitely going to be keeping up with my show going experience. It was a typical garage band kind of deal, but you know, I played Queen Bee or uh, Soda Bar and things like that. A lot of smaller venues, but at the end of the day, uh, I might not be a touring musician now, but I enjoyed the process. I love making music still, and, um, but, but the most fun I have is when I get to play with other musicians and jam out. You can earn volunteer hours this weekend on our campus. Steel Canyon Youth Football is looking for volunteers. You'd be helping out on the field, cleaning up the bleachers, and bringing the players water. Shifts last two and a half hours, and there are games from 7.30 to 9.30. If you're interested, just show up to our field and go to the concession stand and tell them you're interested in volunteering. There is an effort on campus to cut down the number of bees hovering around trash cans on campus. Our SEHS facilities team is installing lids on some of our trash cans, but we also need students' help, as Dr. Cohen explains. For the last decade or so, we've had this issue with bees. Um, they usually arrive right at the beginning or the end of summer, like August when the students come back, and they kind of stick around because they're looking for food. Um, they're looking for water, so they're visiting our trash cans basically, and they can sense the evaporation trails that are going up into the air. So um, as a way to try to help keep the bees down, we started to pilot some of these trash can lids. Obviously the worry for us was, are kids gonna want to push the lid open to throw their trash away, or is it gonna create more of a problem? And what, what we're finding, because we didn't know if 
um, this would actually work is the bees after a couple days forget that the trash that the trash is inside the bees sense um, the food inside if there's no lid the evaporation from the juices and the milks and everything is what the bees are going after they just want to get food basically so if we have this lid on then people have to throw their trash away using the little lid but it pops back and that keeps the bees at bay the Steel Canyon players are back tomorrow night our annual murder mystery show is is this Thursday evening on the quad. Tickets for the show sold out almost immediately, but if you have a ticket, you'll get to enjoy the great food and great show starting at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow. Girls Golf has a match against Eastlake today. Girls Flag Football is San Diego Academy, Varsity at 4, and JV at 5.15, and Girls Volleyball is home against Grossmont. Freshmen at JV at 5, and Varsity at 6.30. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great week. Raw Raw Cougars. Cougar Pride. Get some! <laughs>